your specific person wants to show up for you right here and right now. They don't want you to be perfect. They just want you to be who you want to be and just assume the state. And once you fully understand this, you're gonna see the results you want happen much faster. Because most of us have heard this phrase or heard the term, maybe even a coach say it, that the reason your specific person hasn't shown up in your reality is because we're not in the state that attracts them. And I've seen this, or I'm, the reason I'm making this video is it was brought up in one of my coaching sessions, and I think it is something really, really awesome to think about. Because what is the first response that we think or that we feel when we hear that phrase? We think, okay, so I have to be perfect. I have to be this, get into this crazy state, do a bunch of things differently in order to receive my specific person. But actually... You don't have to be perfect to manifest your specific person. You just have to be in the state that attracts them or more, I guess, more than attracts them, that marries them, right? And this state has nothing to do with perfection. And when we think about perfection, it actually goes into a previous video that I posted about the gap in the gain where it's like we're focusing then on where we need to go. So we're focusing on what we don't have rather than the progress that we have made. And so a really good example to explain that you don't have to be perfect. I know right now you might be you might be thinking, oh my gosh, I feel like I have to do everything as exactly as I need to. I don't wanna mess up this manifestation, but you don't have to be perfect to manifest your specific person. And so if you're manifesting an X, that's going to be the perfect example to totally blow this idea out of the water and then you're never going to think that you have to be perfect ever again. You can just think, I can be who I want to be. Because think about someone you've been with before, right? Manifesting back an ex. Were you perfect when you were with them before? And answer that question, you're probably going to be like, well, no, right? I wasn't perfect, but, but, but no more buts right now. So in that case, if you weren't perfect before with your specific person, why do you feel you have to be perfect now? Or if you haven't been in a relationship, just think about any relationship or your life. And if you haven't again, been in a relationship with anyone like a significant other that think of your friends and family, right? Do you feel like you have to be perfect around them? Sometimes it feels that way, but you truly don't. They're going to like, love, appreciate, and desire you when you are yourself and you're authentic and comfortable in that. And I know it sounds funny. It's like the generic example of, oh, just be yourself. But it's be who you want to be, Who be who you feel you want to be in that end state. And that's how we get to where we want to go. Because again, your specific person doesn't want you to be perfect. They want you to do what you want to do. They want you to fulfill what you feel you want to do. Because most of the time when we approach our specific person, we think, oh, I need to do this, that, this, that, because I think they would like if I did that. But your specific person is a reflection of you. They technically don't like that at all. They want you to do what you want to do. They want you to be this independent, attractive person that they look up to, right? They want to pursue you, which is an aspect that sometimes is difficult to fully wrap our head like our heads around, especially if we're not seeing that level of results yet in our reality. But everything you want is pursuing you more than you are pursuing them. And that includes your specific person. So always think about that. And again, think about why we feel we need to be perfect. And sometimes that in itself is just a disempowering idea in its own right. Because when have you ever been perfect to achieve anything else in your reality? And why do we feel then we need to be perfect with our specific person? And this usually comes from, I, I always state that people have like a list of values. And I think it's like a Tony Robbins idea. He talks about every single person has a list of values that they follow. And whenever we feel like we have to be perfect in a certain scenario, so love in our reality, either we don't understand it 
or we care so much about it, we feel we need to approach it in the best possible way. So what one do you think you're in? Do you, is, do you feel like you have to, because you identify and want and desire love so much, it feels like you have to be overly perfect? Well, right now, I'm giving you the total, you have my blessing that you don't have to be perfect to manifest your specific person. And as I mentioned earlier, I want to bring up that past example as well. Think of other people who have been with exes. I've helped so many people manifest back an ex. And maybe, again, you're manifesting back an ex right now. But they were never perfect when they were with them the first time. And so why, why do you need to be perfect now? It's like, I know I use the word disempowering a couple times, but that is a really disempowering idea. The act or idea that we're going to perfection is like trying to chase the horizon. The horizon always moves as you get closer, right? So the more you accomplish, if you're trying to get perfection, perfection's gonna move. Perfection's never accomplishable. It's like an ideal. Like this should, never say should, but it's like a, when you think it should be this way, you're approaching an ideal, not exactly what, um, what is like desirable in your reality right now. And I would even with this idea of perfection, I don't want to be, I don't want to be perfect. Perfection means that you can't grow. You're like achieved your maximum state and you can't grow. You can't learn. You can't think anymore. Right. I like all of those things. So I think you should approach your manifestation in that same way. Think of your specific person. I want to grow with my specific person. I want to be an individual and I want them to be an individual and I want us to be synergistic together. And with that in mind then, perfection is kind of like, it makes no sense. And someone in one of my coaching sessions actually said this phrase and I really, really love it. They said, Per, like you want to achieve the, by being perfect, you're imperfect by reaching. And I know now we're like got, talking into metaphors now to be perfect. You're actually massively imperfect because you're actually identifying the unique characteristics that your specific person finds absolutely irresistible in you. And that's what we need to support. And that's what we need to push towards your uniqueness, you being exactly who you want to be, regardless of what anyone else says in your reality. That's how I imagine in your end state, because that gives you a sense of freedom of doing whatever you want. And also, I think that's actually why everyone worries about manifesting a specific person and why people have these videos of like, you can't manifest is because we end up having a bunch of anxiety when it comes to manifesting because we don't want to do anything wrong. But you can never do anything wrong. I know it feels, quote unquote, feels like we do, but you can never do anything wrong when it comes to manifesting a specific person, no matter what. And so when we think of, again, I want to return back to the original idea, the reason we've heard this term, the reason our specific person hasn't shown up yet is because we're not that version of ourselves that's in that state. And that's okay, right? That's just a part of the process. If I said to learn piano, you got to practice piano, you'd be like, okay, right? And if you didn't know piano right now, it doesn't mean that you're not going to know it in the future, right? Okay. That's the same thing with our specific person. Not being in the state doesn't mean all of your effort was for nothing. And there's actually a phrase that supports this. And I don't remember who says it, but it's, if I strike a rock a thousand times and it cracks on the thousandth strike, I know it wasn't the thousandth strike that broke it, but the 999 before. That's our manifestation. Jumping into the state, right, is quick and easy. Supposedly, not, we don't always feel that way. But jumping in the state is that quick and easy, that thousand strike that seemingly does all the effort, but it doesn't. It's all of what you're doing right now. It's your thoughts, beliefs, it's your persistence. That's the important part. So when we feel we're not the version of ourselves that's with our specific person, so we may not be seeing exactly what we want, the process, you're doing the most important part of it, even though it seemingly doesn't get the most important results. But it is. And it's like that, again, you're striking the rock 999 times, you hit it the thousandth time, 
you feel like the thousandth time was like, that was the time. And like when you make an affirmation, your SP text or sends you a text message or a phone call, you go on a date. We feel that is the time that we pushed it over and it, that's, oh my gosh, we struck gold. We actually did the thing that finally did it. No, it's all of the stuff that you were doing beforehand that led up to that point. So have the confidence. It's okay if we're not fully in the state. We're not seeing exactly what we want. That means we have so much more amazing things that we can do in order to get there. So don't let it be disempowering. Let it empower you. Because again, it's okay. Everything is a journey. And I think one of the one of the aspects of manifesting that can be kind of disempowering is the aspect of you can manifest overnight. We know it's doable. But if we don't, then we feel like we did something horribly wrong. But in the essence, you could make a million dollars tomorrow but do you feel bad when you don't? You're like, well, no, right? I'm in the process of getting to that point. That's the same thing with our specific person. So let me know any of the um, questions, comments, ideas you have. Put them in the comment section below. Remember, you can also reach out to me on my website at kyleaugustcoaching.com where you can send me any personal message or if you wanted to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching. I've been doing like a weekly uh, manifestation group that I'm kind of keeping kind of low with the amount of people I include in that. So if you did want to sign up for that, send me like a message at, at kyleaugustcoaching.com because I don't have it like fully branded out where we meet every week for an hour or it's usually over an hour, uh, but we manifest as a group. So let me know if that's something that you wanted to um, try out and join in. But thank you guys so much for stopping by today and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow.